7.25 a.m. Today we're gonna try something different. I brought off some uh, kibble. Food that she normally eats. Heel. Nope. Heel. Good. Perfect. She wants the food, which is great. So the thing is, normally I bring out the ball and train with her. But good. But I just have her food for now. Her ball is in the truck. But if I take the ball out, she's going to want the ball more than the food. So I'm going to work with the food first. I'm going to work with just positioning. Because then I can practice shaping her head. Perfect, good. Break. So, I'm gonna go back to the basics and just start with the shaping. Come here, not. Yes, yes. You. Yes. Good. Break. What's up, you guys? Good morning. Where are you from? What time is it? So what kind of dog do you guys have? I'm not gonna check the comments right now. I'm just gonna enjoy my cup of coffee. But maybe in about 10, 15 minutes I will. And then I'll give us a little time to talk. You guys can ask any questions you want right now about training your dog, what level you're at, what stage are you on, what kind of tools you use. Focus. No. Good. Heal. Yes. Yes. Break. Good job. So that's the kind of healing I want. Right. Heal. Heal. Focus. No. Focus. Good. Yes, good girl. Good girl. Good job. Did you see her hop a little bit? Prancing? That's what that's the look I'm looking for. So she's able to work with her food. You? No. Focus. So we're in position. I'm gonna wait till she looks and then we walk. Yes. Go girl. Go girl. Yes. Slowly fade the treat away. Good. 
Good job, girl. And we're just working with kibble. This is her kibble. I got a less than two cups worth. She's been putting on some weight, so we've been cutting her her portions down. And um, <clears throat> which is perfect because, you know, she's hungry, which will make her work for the food. So I'm able to place, I'm able to work with her, right? She's motivated for the food. So I can lure her, right, to the position that I want her to, which is basically manipulating her body through food because she's so hungry, the nose follows it, right? Okay, so then I can bring her where I want. Yes, and then it's called shaping the behavior. So when I'm shaping it, as soon as I find that right spot, I'm gonna mark with a yes, and I'm gonna give the treat. Once I'm done with my coffee, I'm gonna use the clicker. So then I can click, give the treat, so that way I don't have to talk as much. Place. So I got the food just like with the ball, right? Normally I hold the ball like this. So I got the food here. Heal. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Yes. Move the food away. She's still be looking at me. Yes. See how the body's straight. Heal. Because with the ball, I can't shape her head the way I'm doing it right now. So you can just touch. So this is called rear end awareness, right? So the dog keeps his front foot two paws <clears throat> on the block. And I can manipulate the way his back legs move. And that comes in handy when we do heel. Good. Good. Heel. Heel. Good. Yes. All right. See what I'm doing here? Heel. Yes. Good job. So we're going back to the basics, the mechanics of it, teaching her where I want her body, how to pivot with her back legs right and that's all through the basic basics right do this so you know right now it looks easy but this actually took a long time to teach a dog to keep their front paws on that and rotate right but now that we got that you yes she can do it on her own yes simple this is fun because she gets to win a lot and um, we're just gonna do this repetition 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 just get this down and I think that's what we're gonna do for today I don't think I'm gonna play with the ball today but we'll see how it goes you know once I get the blood flowing I get excited and I start training more than what I normally attend, uh, want to. All right, so.
by the way, can how's the music sound and how does my voice sound? Can you guys are the volumes okay? Late afternoon in Denmark. Good morning, Matt. Toxic Spaceman, 10:30 in Maryland. Good morning, Jay Lee. Portland, Oregon. Gotcha. 7:26. Doberman later due in August. Oh wow, man. You know, I want another Doberman for myself. But right now is not the time. But it's good to know that you breathe. If you can, can you leave me your social media? That way I can uh, check out your business. What's up, Alex? Good morning, bro. Newly wed. I actually gotta, I gotta stop by your house and drop off a gift for you guys. So um, I'll probably do that today. I'll text you later today, Alex. Okay, so music is good. Music volume is good. Oh, you don't breathe. You're getting, you're getting it from the breather. Damn, how exciting is that? Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. Happy for you. So happy for you. It's one of the most exciting things you can experience going to a breeder to pick up your puppy. All right, got my clicker. Good job, girl. Good job, girl. So, let's see here. Here. Focus. So like, um, heel, Just, I'll show you this real quick, heel. So as you can see, her body isn't straight, right? And there's little cues that I can do to say, no, 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 readjust your position. Uh, uh, uh. Yes, okay, just like that, focus. So, keep, no, good. See how I'm able to control it by saying, uh-uh, or making a clicking noise with my mouth. And so that's key, right? So heel, heel. Yes, beautiful. She gets it right, we give her a treat. But let's, let me pivot. And my goal is to get her to pivot with me. Yes. Yes. Okay, let me pivot. Ah, yes. Okay. So she's understanding when I say ah ah ah. That means okay, I'm not in the right position. Let me pivot so I get that spot. And. The reason why I'm able to do that is because of this foundation work right here, right? So, if, if she's not at the right spot, I go, ah, 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 pivot, boom, click and reward. And through these repetitions, we're able to do it off the plate. Heel. Ah, ah. Yes. Good. See that? So. Don't get ahead of yourselves and work on the plate for a long time. Touch. Good girl. Yes. 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 See how I'm slowly pivoting? And which this allows her to work on her pivots as well. Good. See that? See how she's like slowly scooting over? Good. Focus. Nope. Yes. Watch this, guys. Magic is happening right now. 
Not. Yes, good. Good job. And notice how her neck is. I'm rewarding her high up because I'm trying to develop that neck muscle to look up. But not only up, the chanel has to look up, the head has to be straight, right? Yep. Straight like this. You see how the head's just straight up in line with the body? It's not crooked like that. It's got to be straight like this. So, good. See that? Over repetition, she'll get used to just looking up like that. I see this. Yes. So she's learning that no matter where I go, where I move, her she needs to be right with me as well. Yes. So now we're really working. Yes, good job, jackpot. I'm really able to manipulate her body now. Sometimes, heel, heel. Sometimes her head is like this, and I wait until it becomes like this. And she's noticing that when she moves her head, I reward for that right position. So her mind is not only working with eye focus but also body positioning and it's not only with their head but with the back end as well because sometimes she ends up like that and that's not how it's supposed to be yes good wow beautiful just got a little dizzy doing that Good. Good. Yeah. So this is where I want the head. Slowly lure the food away. She should keep eye contact with me. Click and reward. Good job, bro. Break. Come on. Good job, you. Good girl, good girl, good girl. Come on, come on. This is puppy stuff right here, right? This is what you do with puppies, but this gets them excited to heal. Good job, come on, come on. Good girl, good girl. Yes, yes. So you want to slowly feed them while the head's going up and moving. Yes, good job, girl. Get them excited. Right, when you get them excited, that's when they start doing this, right? They're doing this because you're walking slow and they gotta keep up with you, but their energy is so high that the muscles are flexing, you know? When the dog is just going like this, it's flat. But when you get a dog hopping ooh, and staying next to you, that's, what, that's the look that you want for competition. So that's what we're aiming for. Heal. Yes! Come on. Come on. Come on. 
Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Yes. Good job. Good job. Come on. Yes. Good. Good. Come on. food motivation's going down because she's been eating she probably ate more than a cup worth now so her tummy's getting full Jay Lee when you get your dopamine the one thing you really got to be cautious for is bloat so because we're she's probably going to have two cups of food in her stomach after we train I'm not gonna throw the ball because she'll be at risk for bloat, right? So she's got all this food in her stomach. And um, when she jumps, you know, her stomach can flip and that creates bloat within hours. So uh, could possibly pass away. So, you know, even though we're spacing out her meal, right? We're not giving all two cups at once. It still ends up in her stomach. Um, she's less likely to create bloat because we're giving it in such a long period of time, but still it's not worth the risk. After we train her with this, I'm gonna go put her back inside the house and make sure she just rests for at least 30 minutes. No, for at least an hour is what we do in the house. Especially with Dobermans, they got real big chest, a lot of space in there for the stomach to move. Heel. Nope. Good. Good job. Good. 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 Good Good girl. So this is just kibble. Imagine if I had, you know, cheese or salami, um, some turkey some hot dogs right she would be really working for it she's getting flat because it's just kibble touch good girl good 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 yes good you see how i'm able to control her with just the kibble that looks easy on camera, but it's really a work of art and you gotta develop that. The more you do this with your puppy, teach them how to follow, teach them how to sit, down, sit, stand, you know, all through luring. Teach them how to heal, right? Pivot, good. Good job, girl, good job. Yes, yes, good keep her working right yes i have a handful of treats but you know dispensing it one at a time that's hard too that's a work of art as well you know learning to not drop the treats on the floor and dispensing one tree at a time so that the dog works for it and isn't overwhelmed with a lot of food in their mouth and keeps them motivated to want to keep their nose where your hands at it takes time to develop touch Good girl. Good. See this? Good. Yeah. See that whole time? I only gave her two pieces of kibble. Good job. This is back legs awareness right here. Right? This is so important to teach your dog because this will help the dog get into position just using their back legs. You. Yes, good. Good job, girl. Break. Place. Down. Down. All right, Anak. This training session is different, right? Normally we play with the ball and all that stuff, but 
today is a little bit more calm, quiet, and relaxed. What's up, you guys? 13 people, 12 people in here. Let's see if there's any questions. Is it possible to have a guard dog, a family dog too? Yes, it's possible. But when you have a guard dog, you have to be on your toes 100%. Touch. Because, good girl. Place. Because when you have a um, guard dog, and you're doing training for that, you teach the dog, right? You teach the dog how to bite. And if you're serious with it, you you also agitate the dog, meaning you put the dog in situations where, you know, they see a bad guy, they threaten him, they put pressure on the dog, and they go for a bite, you know? So at that point, your dog's a deadly weapon. And so every dog's different, you know? If you got a good dog with good nerves, then you can be a little bit more relaxed around the kids. But even then, if you have a dog that you're training, you still got to be on your toes when they're around the kids. Now, if you have a guard dog, right? Like a Doberman is a guard dog. If you just have a guard dog and you're not doing any training, then yeah, of course it's possible to have a family dog. Just because they're guard dogs doesn't mean they're vicious. You really need training for it. Depends what kind of personality the dog has too. But if you got small kids and you're kind of like a beginner with dogs, um, you know, it's still possible, but it's like, do you really want that? Do you really want to be nervous or always worried about your, your guard dog and your kids being together? You know, do you really need a guard dog? Because you know, it's not worth it risking your kids. You know, your kids are everything. So if, uh, if you don't need a guard dog, right? Like if you're just getting a guard dog just because of the looks and to show it off to people, it's not worth it having that 30 minutes of fame and then the rest of the day you're worried and scared that your guard dog might hurt your kids. So you gotta think about it in the long run. food we got a couple more sessions and we are done we're gonna keep this morning session short 19 people good morning you guys good morning over here it is almost 8 a.m there you go dylan dylan has the right mindset he know, i know where this is going good job bro Yeah, if you guys can, have a conversation amongst each other in the chat room. This is what these lives are about. It's just about us dog people coming together and sharing perspectives 
everybody has their own perspective and idea of a dog. And it also depends on what what area you grow up in. You know, if you grow up in Europe, the media shows you different things than what they show us in the US. Or if you're from India, same thing. Africa, same thing. Depends on where you're at, what do you know, and where are they feeding us. Let's work on positioning, heel. Good. Yes. Good girl. Touch. Nope. Focus. Yes. Watch this, guys. Focus. Yes. Good girl. And just the way I say yes, right? If she's looking flat, I need to hype her up. How do I hype her up? I gotta be excited, man. I gotta give her small wins, right? Yes, good girl, good girl. Yes, good job. Focus. Good. Good. Don't lean on me though. Yes. Food out to the left. Heel, heel. Yes, beautiful. Good job. Good girl. Focus. Come on. Heel. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yes. Break. Good job, girl. Good job, girl. Good job, girl. Good job, girl. Good. Good girl. Bro, I don't, you guys don't even know. You guys don't even know how excited I am right now. Okay, look, it's easy to do, do this exercise with the food here and she's looking up, right? This is easy because my hand with the food is here. But when I put the food here, is a huge distraction. And the fact that she's still looking at me is good. It's perfect, okay? But this is easy, right? Food here is easy. Her looking at me is easy because we're not moving. Man, once you start moving and she still has that body position still looking at me, but now she's pivoting her back legs, resisting the distraction on her left side. You don't understand how big this is. You. Yes, go, girl. Good girl, come on. Come on, yes, good. Good girl, good girl, come on. Go, you. So now the only time I'm rewarding her is if her head is straight up. So if she's looking like this, no reward. Her head doesn't look nice. If it's like this, perfect. I want the head to just go straight up. Good. No. Yes. Good. Break. I'm able to shape that now. And I'm able to shape it, not because she's getting better, it's that too, but it's also because I'm getting better. When I do these lives, I look, I replay it, and I look at my, my body positioning, where I'm putting my hand. So every day I get better because I'm learning how to lower a little better. Good. 
how to paint a better picture for the dog. Yes, see that straight up. on that head movement. Oh, it's our last kibble. It's our last kibble. You? Yes. Great. Good job, girl. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. Place. Good. Down. Okay, her food is done. I'm gonna set a timer. She's gotta rest for at least an hour. I'm probably gonna put her inside the house. Session's over. Now I'm gonna go and play with Uso. Take care of him. See when you I can train with the dog a lot longer if I have her toy with the ball. But because it's with food, you're limited to how much you can give the dog, right? So I gave her her breakfast, which is two cups, and her tummy's full. So now we gotta chill, make sure she doesn't jump and run around. And later today, we'll train with the ball. The reason why I wanted to train with the treat is because I wanted to shape her, her head, and it's better to do that with food. And I was actually surprised that she was doing it with just her kibble because it's kibble, you know, it's nothing fancy, it's nothing crazy like, like turkey or ham or anything like that, hot dogs, right? So the fact that I'm able to use a kibble, saves me money, and it allows me to save those high value treats for different exercises. So like if I'm having trouble with an exercise, I can use those high value treats as motivation to keep going. And um, it's just right now, it's just the system's working just right. All right, I'm gonna go through some of these uh, chat rooms, see if there's any questions. If there's no questions, then um, I'm gonna go ahead and end, this, end the live. <sighs> Two North American Mastiffs. Oh yeah, I was just watching a documentary on that. North American Mastiffs. Um, interesting, beautiful looking dogs. The decoy in that video of documentary where they did that last month. The decoy in there is my homie, Nick. They're out of real deal dog training here in Paris. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> North American Mass, if you're here in Cali and you guys want protection work, real deal dog training, those are the people you want to hit up. But, you know, they, they deal with real life situations. So it's not really a sport dog training facility, but they can do that too if you want. It's just not um, what they're really interested in. They're interested in making sure that your dog has your back when or if that situation ever occurs. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, So Dylan, he's my first working breed. I'd love for you to see what you made me, motivated me to do with my dog. I motivated you to train your dog? Well, show me. Let me see, Dylan. Um, do you have me on Instagram? Jello Vibes. Uso is my profile picture. Anak. 
Ka. Come here, Doc. Come, come. So I got this tie out. I'm just gonna leave on the tie out for a little bit. Good girl. Because, like I said, I'm always very cautious about bloat. So, she really needs to rest for an hour. Place. And this girl loves to guard the house, so if she hears somebody coming up the driveway, she will run and start barking like crazy. So, with the tie out, this ensures that she's not gonna run and jump anywhere. So let's see. Yeah, Dylan, message me on Instagram. Show me some clips. Let me see you guys work. Cynthia, oh, that's awesome. That's good to know that I'm helping you guys out. It's really true when they say lead by example, you know. I just, you know, I just record what I do. And um, it's cool that I motivate you guys to do that. Tiki has uh, two Doberman puppies, six months today. Love your training style and use it to help train me too. Hey, aren't Dobermans the worst when they're puppies? We had the hardest time with the knock as a puppy. They're so crazy, man. They chew up everything. They really need a lot of supervising when they're puppies. But what's crazy about them is once they hit one year old, around that time, they, 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 something inside of that DNA clicks and they become the best dogs ever. So, Jay Lee, if you find yourself stressed out with your puppy just fight it through because after one year everything is going to be better yeah i'm gonna check it out dylan just send me a message send me a message and uh tag me on one of your reels and i'll check it out june is in love with uso you spelled it right from detroit awesome Man, I love Uso so much. It's been seven months since his injury, so I've been carrying him, caring for him for seven months. And, um, you know, I'm at this space now where I'm accepting his condition, right? So I'm able to now focus on different things because now I'm at a, I'm at peace now with his condition and I got my system down so it's easy to take care of him and um, so now I'm able to train and do other things and still manage him but you know every time I hang out here with a knot do this it always you know brings back memories from work at Uso. Seven months, man. Seven months, 24 hour care, seven days a week. I don't have a kid, and um, definitely was good practice for taking care of a baby because it felt like Uso was just a big ass baby cleaning up big ass pile of shit in the cage, cleaning up piss doing laundry every day, mopping every day, carrying him every day. So, so happy that he's at a point where he can walk and take a shit and piss on his own. I'm happy that, you know, he doesn't have to drag himself all day long. He only has a certain amount of time that he can be on his legs, but just even that just makes me happy.
Watch. Watch. Yeah, I trained with her food, so I she she ate two cups of food. So now she's just resting. Yeah, so you don't have to feed her breakfast. She's good. Two cups. <laughs> Spo spoiled her today with two cups. Everybody, have a good day. Peace out. It was nice seeing you guys again. See you again tomorrow, bright and early.